them fresh out the soul. Make moves on the low. I'm a dog. Loose play the game like a pro. Alrighty, we're here with uh, Senior Bailey Yeager. Uh, Bailey, uh, uh, first of all, let's talk about the Saluki invite this past weekend. Uh, last year was the first time you guys didn't win the Saluki invite during your career. How important was it for you guys to come back and win it this year? I think it was really important heading into conference to get that momentum and just to get that confidence back and just another opportunity to get better for conference. Okay. Uh, talk about uh, you guys had a five-set match against uh, Southeast Missouri State Tuesday night. How important that was your first five-set match of the season? How important was it for you to guys for you guys to face that kind of adversity heading into conference? I think it was important and it was a good learning experience for us to kind of see that we can fight through things even when we're not playing our best and just to see on see what things we need to work on for conference. Okay. In the past, you guys have had some success during your career, during the non-conference, but then have struggled in, in Valley play. How do you guys uh, translate your non-conference success this year into success in conference play? Um, I think it all just starts in practice, and we have to, even though we're winning, that's when we have to practice harder and um, just really get momentum going into this weekend and keep our play steady throughout the whole season. All right. Thanks a lot, Bailey. Thanks. All right, we're here with uh, head coach Justin Ingram. Uh, first of all, coach, a uh, lot of exciting volleyball going on in Carbondale lately. Uh, the win and the Saluki invite, and then, uh, of course, the five-set thriller on Tuesday night against SEMO. Uh, are we going to expect more of that this weekend? Well, you know, it's never the plan to go five, but we'll certainly stay as long as it takes. You know, um, uh, certainly excited about the, the community and, and students that made a presence last evening. I thought the home court advantage was really uh, showing itself. And certainly the weekend prior uh, at the arena had an outstanding showing there as well for our home tournament. Okay, Coach, uh, you guys are 9-1 and one in, in non-conference, but heading into the conference play this weekend, how are, we, how are you going to translate the success you guys have had in non-conference into the conference season, which has been something we've struggled with in the past? Well, you know what? We're hoping that we're picking up on some good habits, you know, within the system. Uh, we're, we've been working on offensive rhythm quite a bit, uh, speed of set, and uh, making sure that our mechanics are, are sound within each skill set. So, you know, as we went through the preseason, the pre-conference season, um, we had a lot of matches to, to hone in really on, on our mechanics and, and uh, our rhythms within the offensive system particularly. Uh, and we've had some success as well at uh, staying within our, our defensive package. Uh, we've been holding the opponent to a pretty low hitting efficiency, some things that are pretty important for us having success on that side of the ball. Okay, Coach, uh, Indiana State and Illinois State this weekend, uh, you know, what are you expecting out of those two? Well, any Missouri Valley team is going to pose pose issues for, for us. It's a, it's a heck of a conference, and, and we certainly know its demands. Uh, Indiana State's our first match, and that'll be this Friday at 7 o'clock, and then we play Illinois State at 3 o'clock on Saturday. You know, both uh, are very different teams from each other, but there's no doubt the things that we're doing are pretty positive on our side. We hope to continue that same success as we head into this weekend. All righty. Thanks a lot, Coach. Sure. Thanks. Let's move, 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 let's move